you recognize that um, in my presentation there were more questions than answers. And of course I have the same question you raise. How can we explain that in some countries the left is quite strong and in others with a great left tradition in Italy for example the left is nearly gone and nothing today. Um, and of course how is, is it possible to explain that we have a great tradition of theory, left theory, socialist theory of experiences that seem to be nothing nowadays. What I wanted to, to point out is that from my point of view the left missed the point to become a global or for our circumstances a European movement. Capital, capitalism is global, is organized globally, is organized on a European level. When did the left, the socialists, the communists, started with a European or global organization or movement? We didn't start yet. What the national left parties did and do, they look towards Europe from their national perspective. And I cannot see one left party in Europe that is concentrating on a European vision. I cannot see this. But from, from my point of view, it's no reason why that this didn't happen. And of course, you are right. The strength of the conservative or social democratic parties and governments um, is our weakness. They, they are able to give the impression that even austerity policy is democratically founded. What is not true, of course, because there is no alternative. There is no left alternative and therefore the voters have no alternative to decide for. So, what I wanted to say is we have the possibility, the intellectual and the theoretical possibility to or for a, for a realistic vision of a left Europe. What I haven't read now, I, I, I haven't seen any paper, any book that in a convincing way described how this Europe, this left Europe could function. And if even the left in our circles is not able to tell the story, how can we convince the people in believing in an alternative? And therefore, of course, you are right asking for a socialistic perspective for Europe. But of course, you need the supporters. And who is supporting this socialistic construction of Europe? Traditionally, we are looking to the working class as socialists, communists, or lefts. But the working class, traditional, traditionally the revolutionary element to transform capitalism into an alternative system, nowadays in Germany is one-third of the employees. One-third. Not the majority any longer, as 100 years ago, the working class, this revolutionary element, is in a minority. So the working class has to look for supporters for its ideas, for its vision. 
And I'm not sure from the German perspective that the majority of the working class is interested in a solidarity, in a European solidarity or in a, in a, in a solidarity for all European countries and for all European classes. So the question we have to answer, and I have no answer, the question is who is the traditional revolutionary element in society for the new society, for the revolution, for the transformation. And it's our task, of course, to find it out, to look for this in Cyprus and in Serbia and in Italy and in Germany and in Finland. And there are differences, of course. And of course we can, knowing a little bit about history of Italy, of France, of Germany, of Serbia, we can explain why in this country it's easier to find supporters for a left alternative and in another country it's not so easy. The Italian left, the communist and the socialist parties ruined their name and their, and their aims totally. They were in government 10 or 12 years ago with terrible results because they made everything but not a socialist left policy. They were willing to accept nearly everything. And so I'm not, I'm not convinced that helping the social democrats to govern a country is a good solution for a left party. On the other side, it's quite difficult to, to be an alternative and to refuse power and to explain that you refuse to govern. But it, you, you have to be very clear and very firm in your thinking at this point. What I wanted to say is, I see many looking, looking in, in different countries and looking in to different um, left parties in Europe. I see a tremendous potential. And my question is, what makes it so difficult to bring the power that exists in many European countries and left initiatives together to describe a realistic vision of a left Europe and to describe the supporters of this new vision of whatever we call it, left socialistic new society, democratic, social and peaceful. I, I agree if you, if you think I'm, I'm, I'm raising more questions than answers. That's right. But I think this is the way to, to find the way to the future.